guys we're going to make a barn today i'm going to show you how to make a barn here i got i'm going to paint my um underpainting uh black and white which is going to be a gray uh this is i'm using a mixed media paper so it should it's pretty thick for my acrylic paint so here i'm just going to mix a nice light gray right quick this might be a little too much too dark, excuse me. Just want to fill up the whole entire paper gray. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit. Alright. Alright, what we're going to do now is draw the outline of the um, bar. My paint is... 90% dry, still a little bit wet, so it's okay. So I'm just going to get started. Uh, I'm gonna start up here and draw my top part of my barn, kind of like a triangle here. And then come down, draw a line straight across. Then line going down. Then I'm gonna draw my line going horizontal. Got the big rectangle right here, a square. Draw the X for the barn door. Draw the, little, I guess, shed right here. And I'm just gonna draw a fence, just a couple of X's right here. And draw a line going across. Just gonna represent my fence. Going straight across, okay? Maybe put a tree or something right here. And that's pretty much it for my barn. Let me shape this up a little bit. That's it. So my background is going to be like a light gray. So I have my white. I'll make it like a light gray. Get my palette knife. And we can start with our um, painting. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to mix my white, my gray. I think that's good right there. I'm just going to go in and paint over my background. I'm just spreading out my paint nice and neat. Well, not really nice and neat, but just kind of leather. Put in one layer of white paint on top. Then going over. Get right up on it. Let some of those strokes show. Get right on the edge here.
that. I feel like I need to shake this up, top part up a little bit. And I like those strokes showing in there, those little scratches and stuff, little lines, gray lines. I like that. I want some of that to show, so I'm not gonna smooth it out. I know a lot of people like to smooth it out, but I'm not gonna smooth mine out. I love painting with the palette knife. you guys do too. That's why you watch the videos, right? <laughs> and voila, that's my barn. Get up under there. Okay. Now I'm gonna paint my barn and make it like a, a medium gray. gray right here. So I'm off the same gray as this right here, which is totally fine. It's a little bit different. So I'm going to go in. That the top part of my roof. to come in get this part right here I might add a little bit more white to it it's kind of a little bit too dark so let me get some of this right here add a little white lighten it up a little bit my strokes and lines perfect of course not which I like and you want that texture to show and you want a lot of the movement to show and again this all depends on you everybody's different when they're painting with the palette knife some people go real nice and slow like that some people just go one whack one stroke one movement so to speak and then like me I'm just kind of like a little bit of here, a little bit there. That's all in your your style, your personality, your temperament. Which is totally fine. Everybody has their own way. And your own way creates your own style, so to speak, too, as well. It's gonna look really good. Okay. Now I got all that taken care of. Now I'm gonna do my door. I think I'm gonna do my add a little brown to my door. Let's see if I got a little brown. Well, I got some red oxide, so I'm gonna add some of that. Now this red oxide is kind of strong. See how bright that is? I'm gonna to tone that down, so I'm gonna put some of that gray in here. gonna kind of put that in right here for my door still kind of strong a little bit but that's okay I can always go back over it and um, do something else another color all right there's my door Now I'm going to add the bottom. I'm going to make that a little bit darker here. I'm just going to go down like that. Straight 
straight down. Voila. It's a little different painting on, painting on paper as opposed to the canvas with a palette knife, so it's going to move around a little bit, which is fine. You see all that movement and texture in different colors right there? I like that. this in right here. I guess I need to use this color. I'm gonna go back again. Uh oh. I don't want to mess that up. Wipe off some of this paint. I'm gonna get some of this paint over here and bring it in, fill it in on my fence. black. I'm just going to start outlining stuff. Outline my door, my barn door. Get my little X going. Outline this part right here. Come down. Down to this side. Shape up the top part. Come down. Same thing. Voila. Since I have this brown over here, I'll put some of this brown. fence right here. I know there's a glare from the lights on my paint. Hopefully you can still see this pretty good. And that's it. the shape of it. We're going to add just a little color to this picture by adding a little turquoise. Let me get my turquoise right quick. Straighten it up so you guys can see. Let's go ahead and get started. I got turquoise right here. I'm going to mix this in with my gray, kind of tone it down just a little bit so it won't be too strong. And I'm just going to put some highlights of grays in here. I mean turquoise in here, right here. I'm just going to bump up here, kind of put it in here a little bit. I'm just getting a little bit of that color right here and just kind of glazing. Uh, tapping this this grassy area right here. Get a little bit more of the turquoise, mix it in with that gray, tone it down a little bit because it's very strong and intense. So you want to kind of bring that down a little bit. So that's why I added that gray. And I'm just going to put some turquoise right here. Let me see how it looks in the white. I don't know about that. I'm just going to Kind of glaze up a little bit. Just barely. I'm a, just barely. Just a little bit. Not much. Just a little bit. Not much. Some people don't like that. I like it though. You don't have to do that. It's up to you. 
again, if they, you don't like it, you can always paint over it and stuff. But that turquoise will just kind of give it some pop. Again, you don't have to do that. Play around, see what other colors work for you. And that's it. I'm going to stop right here. I get too carried away. And that'll be it. Hope you guys like this painting. I can clean this up a little bit. But I hope you guys like this painting. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. That's so much changes to YouTube now. But anyway, uh, if you want to learn more about painting with the palette knife, I have the palette knife academy. Go to my link below. You can find you can learn how to paint with the palette knife. I'll show you how to paint so many different genres using the palette knife. A lot of people have taken the course. They love it. They love watching the videos. I got one lady who says she loves watching the videos while she's cleaning up <laughs> and uh, taking care of her, her two little kids. So check it out. See you guys later. Peace. Mm -hmm.